Land, this is Kyle Watts, aka Mr. Product Review Guy. I'm here back again to uh, product review my uh, road bike. I forget how many speeds it is. I guess it's 24. I'm a new bike rider. I don't know. I don't really care. Actually, I do care because uh, the more uh, speeds you have, the more gears you have, the faster you can go. Well, anyway, I started this bike upside down just to show you how light the bike is. It's a $1,700 bike. I bought it at Fat Frogs in Chesapeake in the Hanbury Shopping Center if you live here locally in the Hampton Roads area. If not, then I'm pretty sure there's a great bike shop in your city where you live. Well, anyway, check this out. This bike is that light that I'm barely picking it up. It's so light. It's my first bike. I'm pretty excited about it. Watch this. I can pick it up with my fingers. It's so light. I'm doing finger curls. If you notice, my arms are staying straight. I'm barely, I'm not even moving my arms. It's just curling with my fingers. That's how light this bike is. It's very awesome. It goes very fast. Uh, I got into biking because I wanted to get in better shape. I wanted to have a better way of staying in shape and actually having a, a cool piece of equipment like this and as you can see it's uh, pretty cool if you're into bicycles if not then you know it's probably not a big deal but I bought this bike got some cool water bottles I got some uh, cool technology if you notice there I got a, a speedometer to monitor how fast the bike goes and right here on the wheels you can see here there's a little device that goes on the bike right there plus right here it's hard to see but if you notice there's some straps it actually has the whole system here where the piece actually on the spoke when the wheel does revolutions calculates and calibrates with this little monitor here which actually shows up here I don't know all the science behind how it works that's just my brief explanation go ahead and uh, get your YouTube on if you want to uh, actually get some more information on that and uh, one second I gotta tighten up my bike here it's kinda I, for, I forgot I was about to take it apart and change the tire so I'm tightening back the uh, wheel but anyway so uh, this is a road bike again of course if you're into bicycles if you're new to cycling or you want to get your first bike I suggest spend the money get a good bike you know I was gonna be cheap and get a seven or eight hundred dollar bike which is not by any means cheap once you get over five hundred you know it's not cheap I mean nothing's cheap if it's in your price range if you can only afford three hundred you can only afford three hundred if you can only afford five hundred a thousand whatever your limit whatever your range is that's what you can afford but what I'm saying about cheap is you don't want to go to Walmart and buy a road bike if you're really serious about cycling and bicycling and getting in shape if you really want something that's going to be sturdy and last you for a long time, please, please save yourself the money. Because why go to a bike shop or go—I mean, go to Walmart or go to a lane bike shop, spend 500 bucks, find out you really love riding bikes, and then you go spend another 500, and then again you go you, you go spend some more money. Before you know it, you could have just bought yourself a thousand-dollar bike, a fifteen-hundred-dollar bike, a two-thousand-dollar bike. I mean, let's face it. If you save up a hundred dollars a month you know for like six months you know you could easily put down the money you need for the kind of bike you want you know so I definitely recommend getting a Calibro I don't know if I'm saying that exactly right but it's a C U L E B R O focus let me turn this around so you guys can see it uh, there again you can see it says focus sorry about my zoom in it's my first video of doing a bike so sorry if you can't see it let me walk it in for you guys focus and then there's the name Calibro if you can catch that so anyway it's a great tool to have for staying in shape uh, here's the little little pouch for all the uh, for all the uh, knickknacks like having extra inner tubes and having CO2 and different things if you get stuck on the side of the road again I'm new to biking it's my first bike and I didn't think I was gonna spend the money on this but after I broke down a couple times and I was fixing my bike on the side of the road I realized hey I better go ahead and get a pouch so not only do I have uh, you know a gauge to let air in and out of my tire to pump it up 
I also have the uh, CO2 and whatnot to get a quick refill on the bike, on the tires, and you know, you just place the canister in, or actually in this way, you pop it in, and you do your gauging and all that stuff, and it puts air in the tire, and you're good to go. Uh, also, I got my tools and whatnot, and uh, if you can see here, I don't want to pull all the way out because I don't want to put it back in, but you see there, that's the inner tube for the tire. So yeah, make sure you get one of those. I actually need to practice on changing my tire and uh, get in the habit of knowing how to do that because at this moment, <laughs> I still don't know how to change my own tire. So uh, I, <laughs> I would suck if I broke down, but it's still winter. March 20th, spring is going to hit, so between now and then, I'm going to have a lot of practice changing my tire. And make sure you get some good water bottles. I'm a thirsty boy, so I definitely uh, like to have a couple of them. And if you notice, my neon green, everything's matching and whatnot. And uh, definitely, definitely going to get a lot of use out of this thing. And as I said before in my other video, I'm going to be taking this bike and putting it with my trainer. So let me go ahead and grab that... Uh, that trainer again for you guys so you can see what it is that I was talking about if you didn't check out the other video I'm gonna step off camera for one short second and here's the trainer that I'm talking about and what I love about my bike shop that I go to is uh, they have everything matching so it's pretty cool I, I, I didn't realize how much I was gonna like green until I got this bike so if you happen to notice you bite the back in like such, and then these actual back portion right here, this flips open, and this screws out. On the other side, on the left and right side, and uh, you would actually go ahead and sit the bike into the uh, into these this little section right here, the circular section which will hold the bike in place or whatnot. So I'm pretty excited that I get to work out on my bike. I've missed riding it, you know, because of the weather. And I found myself at the gym on these little cheap little uh, exercise gym bikes trying to stay in shape on top of, you know, running and swimming. I'm getting in shape and I want to do my first, the uh, half marathon, uh, I mean half triathlon and eventually a full on triathlon. So I need a great way to stay in shape and actually use my bike. It sucks having a... A, you know, $1,800 bike and you're not using it, so having this trainer allows me to, to use my awesome bike. So, like I said, if you're into cycling and you see yourself actually wanting to do it or something you're thinking about, go ahead and do it. This is my first bike, my first trainer, and every step of the way I've loved every bit of uh, having this stuff and spending the money. I have no regrets and I just plan on, I wish I had the money, you know, sooner, you know, to buy this stuff. But, you know, everything happens at a time, reason, and season. So, uh... You know, go ahead and get yourself a bike, get yourself a